Hello students, today I am going to start the second part of the chapter. We are not afraid to die if we can all be together for class 11. It's written by Gordon Coke. In the previous part, we have already studied that Gordon Coke, he planned according to his dream and his dream was to make a round the world voyage that has been made earlier, means 200 years ago by James Cook, okay, Captain James Cook. So he also wanted the same and he planned that he will complete the journey within three years. First, what he did was he made a boat, big boat or you can say a ship, okay. And then he, he along with his wife Mary, his son Jonathan, and his daughter Suzanne, they started their journey and they reached Cape Town. From there, they hired two men, crewmen, Larry and Herb, okay, or Harvey. So they started sailing towards the Indian Ocean, which was or which is said to be the toughest ocean in the world. Then, when they went, how they celebrated Christmas, when they were about leaving. For the new year, means after the new year, what they saw was there was huge waves that hit the ship and all of them, they were helpless, they couldn't do anything. Anyhow, he started uh, means throwing his hands here and there so that he can manage to save everyone in the ship. Later on, what he did was he reached the wheel. This is what we have studied. and tried to hold it so that he could steer it nicely. So the next point we will start is fear of sinking. So suddenly what happened the front hatch of that ship was thrown open and Mary appeared. Mary, that is his wife, whose wife? God and Cook's wife. So she cried that they were about to drown. Means they will drown in the water. Larry and Herbie, the two people, the two crewmen, they were pumping like madmen. They were mad, pumping out of the water. The narrator swam to the children, children's cabin, and he asked them if they were all right. They said that uh, they were fine, though Sue, that is Suzanne, she had bump above her eye, but still she said that they were alright. Uh, the narrator, what he did was, he blocked all the holes with canvas, the gap, gapping holes were filled with canvas so that the more, more water may not enter inside. Then he ran here and there for uh, the pump and all. Actually, the hand pump was uh, blocked with the debris that was floating in the ship because of uh, the water that had flown inside. Then uh, the electric pump which they were having that also started stopped working. Then he uh, ran for a new pump which was there for uh, means in spare. So he saw anyhow he searched that and started working with it. Even. Uh, they were getting no reply to the media calls that they were giving so that they can be saved. Okay, the next point is search for an island. An island. Now, on January 3rd, the narrator the, the water level, sorry, uh, the water level had uh, come to, means uh, come under control, come to a lower level, okay, so that it was manageable. The narrator checked and rechecked what the maps and he noted it down that uh, there are two islands which are about few hundred kilometers uh, towards the east, okay, and uh, one of them was Isle Amsterdam, Isle Amsterdam. So this is where they were planning to go. But what happened uh, as they started heading toward 
uh, towards i amsterdam dark clouds black clouds started heading over them and uh, uh, you can say uh, that uh, they were whatever they were planning that was not going nicely actually they planned that they should set sail for the island but still they were unable to manage it and later on by 5th january what happened the condition even worsened and they were means desperate okay the condition become desperate and they were about to die next point is uh, hoping for relief hoping for relief now the narrator went inside to comfort the children okay then john who was there john means jonathan uh, he asked to john if they were all right at this jonathan replied that they are all right and uh, he even asked said that are we going to die at this the narrator said that uh, he would try his best to make it out at this uh, he added who john that is jonathan he added that uh, they are not afraid to die if they are all together means he was quite courageous the child brave enough okay and he was not afraid of dying then what the narrator did was uh, he took every care to protect the boat the ship okay so this is how there was a hope for relief means the children were not afraid at all the next point is wave walker riding out of storm now that ship wave walker it rode out of the storm by morning of 6 january means they had just after one year 6 january the narrator tried to get the reading on the sextant which was there so when he was thinking so that is susan she came in came inside and gave him a crutch a card in which there were caricatures caricatures of the narrator which made him laugh and there was even a message inside it and it reads how i love you both okay next point is a ray of hope so the narrator checked and he even calculated check all the calculations and he asked larry to steer the ship 185 degree towards east and he expected to see the island by 5 pm then he went down and dozed off up till 6 pm later on he woke up and he found that jonathan his son was there and he asked that i want a hug from you when the narrator asked the reason he said that you are the best daddy and the best captain in the world because uh, what he did was he had found the island i am still even su said that you are the best daddy she said that you are the best captain and best daddy and you have found the island that is i am still now the last point is achieved the goal that is i am still now uh, as soon as he got the news that uh, he had reached he rushed to the uh, deck and checked what he found was that it was a bleak piece of volcanic rock island and uh, he was very happy even the children were happy then all the 28 inhabitants of 
that island they welcomed them and they cheered up them then when he went down and landed his feet over that island he started thinking of larry and herby the crewmen who shown who had shown optimism even in the, in the direst time and then he thought of his wife mary who had shown courage even at the time of fear or fear of death then he thought of his children that is suzanne and jonathan who were not at all afraid of dying even though sue was hurt on the eye so this is where the chapter ends